In 1981, a quiet and determined Australian who'd just been sacked from an engineering apprenticeship because he was almost always racing motorbikes when he should have been working, showed up in England without money, without a job and with few prospects. Armed only with the clear conviction that he could ride Grand Prix motorcycles at least as well as anyone else, he set about attempting to prove the point. Living in the back of a car, travelling across Europe without a ticket, far from home and the people he loved, he managed, in a couple of short seasons, to do exactly that. Riding for Honda Britain, he earned a place in Grand Prix racing, survived the toughest possible baptism in a sport known to be tough on its best and brightest of days, and then rode the wheels off the many people who tried to criticise him off the track on day one. Five years later, he gave Honda the best possible reward for their support when he took the world crown, although that title was probably less important to Wayne Gardner than going back home and winning the Australian Grand Prix. Wayne, can you tell us about the first time you rode a motorcycle? What was it? When was it? Can you remember that? <laughs> now you're asking, it's a long time ago. Uh, first ride a motorcycle, I guess that would be back when I was 14 years old. Uh, which is a long time now, and I think it was, um, I used to sort of hang around a lot of the industrial areas. Uh, I come from Wollongong, which is an industrial town, and I had a go-kart before then, which my dad built for me, um, and he was a truck driver, and uh, we seen this old bike, it was half buried in this, um, in an industrial area and we asked the guy could we have it and he says I'll, I'll give it to you for $5 so he bought this bike and uh, had no rear wheel and the engine was all rusted and seized up and of course uh, I took it back and my friend's father was an engineer his own, and, uh, and we, I advertised, my mum advertised in the paper for rear wheel and so we brought all the parts together and got it going and uh, I guess probably that was the first motorcycle I ever rode uh, with my friend which we were shares in it a five dollar motorcycle. Was that because it was almost free or did you want a motorcycle having tried carts? Well I guess it, uh, it was like the natural progression you know I used to drive this go-kart around the streets really I mean uh, <laughs> and the police were always chasing me and I was always in trouble and uh, I guess the next progression was to then to ride a motorcycle and um, from then on uh, when we got this bike going uh, my friend got a new bike for his, for his birthday and then uh, my father and mother thought that I should have one for Christmas so I got a new uh, mini bike for Christmas and we got rid of that old $5 bike and it progressed from there and then once I got this new mini bike I started riding around the, the fields and behind our house in a creek uh, every day and after school and then I met some friends and they said I should race so I went up to the local circuit and raced mini bikes with all the kids. So it wasn't your idea? If somebody hadn't suggested it, you would never have gone to a racetrack? No, exactly. Um, it was basically, you know, I'd done what my friends did. And I just wanted to, uh, if they rode, I wanted to ride. And uh, if they were fast, I wanted to be faster. And that was where it sort of began. <laughs>